in this video we will uh, extract the vessels in this uh, in this stem so this is a stem here and what we would like to do is extract these vessels here so let me just check that let me just reduce the box Yeah, so this is the stem and we would like to get the volume occupied by these vessels. So in order to do that, we will have to segment these vessels first and then get the volume. So in order to segment these vessels, we will have to shrink wrap, shrink wrap around this stem and then extract the vessels so let us shrink wrap the stem so this is the data and we would like to extract these vessels so let's select tag 1 and apply shrink wrap so to apply shrink wrap press spacebar and then shrink wrap uh, there are probably no holes in this stem here but just to be sure let's say fill if there are any tiny holes then let's just fill them before applying the shrink wrap so what's happening here is uh, it is first detecting all the visible region of the stem and then dilating the bit mask which is the di dilating this visible region to close off the the pores um, in this case we said that uh, close the pores which are at most uh, size say three voxels uh, radius and uh, then it will start from the from the boundary and it will uh, shrink wrap to this region and everything that is within this region will be tagged as one so what will happen is all these empty regions here will also get tagged with tag one so this has been tagged here and if you go to the slice view there are still regions that are not tagged here so maybe we should just apply for a bigger uh, bigger covering so if I change the transfer function here then we can see that these holes are not filled up so let's fill up those holes change back the transfer function and these are probably tiny holes somewhere in here where the flood fill is escaping so let's again apply the shrink wrap and in this time we will give say bigger holes to fill Another option is to just increase this um, transfer function so that it catches really most of the area that we are interested in. Because this will, this will, if we increase that, then it will plug all these smaller holes. But 
is still going on boundary detection can take a while for large data sets so one option is to uh, take a subsample volume uh, apply the segmentation on that small volume and then back into the large volume okay so now we have the segmented uh, we have shrink wrapped it and as you can see we have closed the entire inside area now since we are in only interested in this region here and not these outer regions we can remove those outer regions so let us change the transfer function so that we are looking at the outer region here as well as the inner region now we can turn off this white part which is tag 0 so I have turned off tag 0 and what I plan to do is now select these individually you can do that easily so let's say tag 3 so we are in correct tag 3 and then we can just hover over this region here and then press fill so these are all tagged now if we just turn off one these are the interior so this is what we wanted to extract and this is what we have and we can go back into this yeah 2d slice view and if we select the entire range then you can see this is tag 1 and that is tag 3 so the inside region is now tagged with tag number 3 and the stem is now tagged with tag number 1 so this is what we have and now if we want to get the uh, the volume of the interior vessels we change this tag here so these are the vessels and now in order to get the volume just press spacebar and then there is get volume so get volume tag or if ta we don't specify any tag then anything that is visible will be considered for getting the volume now in this case since we are only showing the vessels that we are interested in we can just give get volume and then that's the volume I have not set any voxel size here so it's just counting number of visible voxels and then multiplying by the voxel size here which is 1 micron uh, default but you can set that uh, voxel size um, when you are importing the data so this is how you can get uh, the volume here of the painted region of the segmented region and this is the volume of the of the vessels in in the in the stem so this is the stem and that those are the vessels and that's the the volume that we calculated